Last time I was at Home Depot, I picked up this Ryobi 40 volt brushless snowblower. Uh, this currently is $200 less than the Eagle or the Toro snowblowers, so I thought maybe we should check it out. I got about three, four inches of snow here today, so this is a good time to test out these electric ones. Right now we all agree that the Toro is the best one. I'm going to do a test run with that first, and then I'll do the rest of the driveway with the Ryobi. They're both 21 inch. The Ryobi is a 40 volt, and it uses two 5 amp hour batteries to run. Uh, like the Ego Snowblower, you need to have both batteries in the unit to get enough current so that it can handle this brushless motor, motor so that it can handle this brushless motor efficiently. So let's get started. Down in the hood. So first up is the Toro, make one pass and then we'll do the Ryobi. I do have some ice chunks frozen onto this uh, driveway so it sticks once in a while. Plus neither one of these snow blowers has a floating scraper bar underneath so it does get caught on the old cement there, the chunks that are sticking up. So, alright, next up is the Ryobi.
This Ryobi has a has an adjustable handle on it. The handle can slide up and down and tilt and it's not near as solid as the handles on the Toro or the Ego. I'm going to move this one camera out here a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Well, while I'm talking about it, <clears throat> if you notice that it wants to pull itself away from the snow as you go down the street there, I'm having to run it at, a, at an angle to get it to stay at a full width. That's interesting. <clears throat> it's also pretty dirty. Uh, the, the chute doesn't... Uh, throw the snow nice and evenly it just kind of throws splatters a lot of it right out it splatters a lot of it right out the front um, <clears throat> and third while I'm saying you're talking about it it pushes a lot harder than the Toro in fact it pushes about the same as the Eagle in other words if the snow is a little heavier so you can really it'll really give you a workout So much for that one. Is it worth spending an extra $200 for the Toro or the Snow Joe or the Eagle? Yes. Very simple. <clears throat> the switch is already broke. I'll do some research and see if I can figure out what's going on going on with this. But uh, as far as right now. I don't recommend this snowblower at all. So let's finish up with the Toro. By the way, I'm not doing the snowplow drift right now. The plows still have to come through and push that back. So later on today, I'll get a two stage out and clean that off. So, all right.
Well, to recap, the Ryobi broke after about 10 minutes worth of use. The switch up in the handle is bad, it won't turn on again. It did give me a little problems turning off, as you noticed, and then now it won't turn on at all, so that switch is broke. Comparatively, this Toro is so much easier to use. The handles are nice and stiff, so you can push on it. Um, it throws snow a lot further, it throws snow a lot cleaner, and battery-wise, I expect this seven and a half volt. <clears throat> and battery-wise, I expect this seven and a half amp 60 volt unit to run probably 30 to 40 percent longer than that two battery 5 amp uh, 40 volt Ryobi battery setup. So it's real simple. I showed you what they look like. I do not recommend the Ryobi no matter how cheap it gets. <clears throat> Alright, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. If you like this video, please like it. And I will talk to you later. Bye. Down in the